Whoa! Whoa! Welcome everybody to this video. Uh, today I'm gonna play a game called The Terrible Old Man, which is inspired by uh, the short, the horror short story made by H.P. Lovecraft, which is the same dude that wrote uh, what's it called with Cthulhu and Necronomicon and uh, things like that. So uh, it's a game made by Cloak and Dagger. It's a simple mechanic with point and click and. I think this could be cool. The terrible old man. Let's go. Right, sitting in the bar. Right, so I need to do the voices myself, huh? <laughs> uh, Eastern Europe. Zwanjelo. <laughs> when are we going to blow this joint? Uh, I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours to ride to Boston. How long we staying on the air for? Oh, I'd say it's just the night. We gotta keep moving. Uh, I guess it's me, right? And then we're back to Arkham. He became me, at least. <laughs> That's right, I'll be talking to a guy up there who might be able to get some action, you know? Say, so speaking of action, look at the dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Incredible. <laughs> Sonic, why don't you go get your past ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will, maybe I will. You get us some beer while you're at it. You still got some cash from the old bra the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was old. She couldn't even get out of the house and spend the godforsaken dollars. <laughs> Am I a bigot now? <laughs> Fucking racist, man. Better old man you'll hear spends it on hooch than let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get us a beer, boy. Alright. Luckily, we are the one with my voice. <laughs> right click to observe, left click to interact for inventory setting. Move curves at the top of screen. I'm ready. Maybe here in my dishwasher as we <laughs> speak, but... What do we got? Pictures. They tried to decorate the town with some old prints. Alright. Some news clippings about an incident at the local port. They're from a paper called the Kingsport Buggle. Bugle? Buggle? It just captured a local Kingsport fisherman. Okay. Uh, let's talk to this. Ho! Say there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, grease ball! I'm not Italian, dude. Hey, 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 no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere, maybe to your mother. Ooh, sick burn. <laughs> ha, struck out again, Zanek. Suit yourself. Let me try again. <laughs> Come on, sweet cheeks, let me buy you a drink. Get lost! Tweet cheeks, you crack me up, Zanek. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come on, sweet cheeks, let me buy you a drink. Get lost! Alright. He's clearly not interested. Uh, let's buy some beers then. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Unsmith? <laughs> the first voice I could come up with. None of your goddamn business, just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You're what your man, a stranger. Folk are nicer in King's Pot. We look after each other. Three beers. Please? <laughs> that was awkward. That will be two dollars, my fallen friend. Sparky cash, yeah. Cool. Ah, there we go. Two dollars right here. Three bears coming up. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. <laughs> so stupid. Ah. <sighs> uh. is standing yet. I swear, we sat the whole shock and can't get fall of its face, and it didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You take it to Doc Rives and get to the bottom of it. 
Well, it's all a bit hard to strike since he's roaring with our old fella the old night. I should have let the boy out tonight. What happened? You know, the weird old man, former sea captain of some sort, you see him round town, he buys for his groceries and golden doubloons. I heard about him, yeah? Fable and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles. He was lying up on a table inside of his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mike Ellis. It's off his bacon to his own crew. Yeah, most peculiar chap. Avoided him, best avoided him, I think. No need to upset such folk. Ah, my throat. Ah. Uh. So if you need to touch JK, eh? a bit of respect. So an apple was taken through a stone at his window, you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talk to a pet. Thank you, what talk about exactly what happened. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy. You go rub through his toes, through old folks' windows. And oh, well, they're not going to be up, eh? No matter how favor they are. I told him he started leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. It must be a great scary sight for junk lad to face. <laughs> so dumb. First of all, just to go guys for currency. Eh? The man must be setting on fortune. Tell me about it! I heard a captain clipper ships in the east. I counted my years back, and I'm both back on those treasures. Oh, what this guy's voice. Uh, sorry about the rat. <laughs> There's some bears. Thanks. Oh, my throat. <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> Boys, you're not gonna believe it. Uh, so you got a date with the broad? <laughs> he wish, yes. I think you're gonna set a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Here. Yeah. <laughs> gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. I reach and see that old fort. Haha, <laughs> this sounds like a skinch. <laughs> Let's get in there tonight to see what he's got to offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. What is that old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, Sonic. Find out we may reach us tonight. Okay. Mm. Let's try the bitch again. <laughs> the woman, sorry. Do you know anything about the rich old man who lives in town? Ah, you're back again. Don Juan doesn't stop trying tonight, doesn't he? Whoa. I'm a very persistent man, ma'am. I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everybody must know him. Leave me alone. No, I won't. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Get lost. Oh, come on. Hey, sweetie. Get lost. <laughs> Hmm, foreman might know. Do you know about a rich old man who lives in town? Can't say I do. You must. <laughs> I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Pa! You can tell me two guys. What can you tell me about those guys at the bar? <laughs> hey, we're right here! My new business right here! What he said. <laughs> What can you tell me about that broad over there? Does she not work in all the town? Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Later. Let me know when you... No, oh, sorry. Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. I haven't even touched my pint yet. Hey, sweetie. Get lost! Fuck you. Say, fellas. What was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. It sounds like a character. Oh, no, it is. So for some of this kind dropping gold all over the show. Where does he live? His house is along the coast, a crumbling ice that pirates down. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport Adventure. What's the address? Oh, you think you're very such a Maya. But you know what you want to see him for? Trash on tire. No. Good. The last thing we need in this town is outside bringing the wayward criminal ways with them. That was good. 
So why do we, you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outside us? Oh god. Uh. We wish to interview for the local paper, yeah. Oh yes, what's the name of the local paper? We saw that, over here. What was it? One of these. Bug bugle, bugle I think. Kingsport Bugle. Ha! Oh, that old rag has been printed for years! Ah shit. Lies, lies. And more lies. <laughs> okay, so we fucked up. Not you again. I'm busy. Yeah, what you working on? Apart from looking pretty. <laughs> well, I might. Oh shit, my microphone. <laughs> well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah? What is your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa, big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the King... Yeah, there we got it. The Kingsport Daily Star. Interesting. Now get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Will do. Okay, okay, you put your knickers back on, lady. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again, though. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? I'm thinking of the local paper. Oh yes, what's the name of local paper, blah blah blah. The Daily Star, the Kingsport Daily Star. I got mixed up before. We are from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense! It's the truth, we are a journalist from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the taste he must have. The taste of exploration, treasure and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs into sh onto Ship Street near the shore. Outside his home, a curious foreign standing stones. An unmistakable sight. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yes, fellas, I got the address. Good work, Zanny boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. Yay, yeah, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Let's go, boys. There's a treasure to be had. Oh, my throat. It's killing me. I really like the artwork in this game. Alright, here we are. What's the plan, boss? Silva, you and Abby go in through this gate here. Zanek, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything though, looks like there's a light on up there. Zanek, can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. Uh, Alright. Stones on the side of the wall, I ain't going in there. A better look. Trunk. Trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Well, we got a key. Doesn't fit. This key is just for the ignition. Alright. Do you have the key? Say, Richie, you don't have the key for the trunk, and you, you do. No, I don't. The damn you lost the card and keys and egg. No, no. Silver then? What's your finger in this place? Well, the house looks like it's seen better days. Hey, let's gamble and get the words and egg. I think the still beats me. They give me the grips. You have the key for the trunk. Oh, balls. I, <laughs> I do. Here you go. Thanks. Alright. Oh! Someone moving up there. <laughs> no time to go yet. No, I wasn't. I wasn't going to. Okay, a good robber always comes prepared. We got a spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. That's good. Oh! Look in the window. Let's have a looky.
Hello, you terrible, terrible old man. He's in there. This silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. Good work, Zanik. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He's engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic. <laughs> you got a mask then? Yes, I do actually. Here you go. Here's the masks. Okay, get a gate open. Crowbar. Ha! We're in! Good work, Zanek. Okay, Silva, let's go in. Are we gonna play it, boss? You see, there might not be look which is concerning his treasures. We may need to make it talk. As if the gold is even hidden, if he is as seen as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We do what we have to do, need to. The screams of an old man can easily be muffled. Silva, you hit the nail on the head. Zanek, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Richie. Remember, be gentle. Ooh, the sounds are creepy. Whoops. Lights are out. One hour later. What the hell is taking them so long? Ooh. I don't think that was the old man, right? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told them, I told them, I said don't go to horror on the old goat. Uh oh. Ah, here they come. I don't think they are. Ooh, I get I got shields. Well, hello there. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Oh! oh I, got, I got shields. Ooh, that was really creepy actually. The artwork is... Whoa. Alright. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns. Which is the reason that Kingsport people talk all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels which the tide washed in. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street or certain especially inhuman cries probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain, Mm -hmm. must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. <laughs> really cool. I like this game a lot. Short and good. Uh, yeah, I liked it. Short and... Uh, pretty chilling, actually. Uh, it was a decent horror, actually. And I liked the artwork. Yeah, I think the... The guys who did is at Cloak and Dagger have made similar games too. I will play them as well, I think. I really like this. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.